sickness. How can we handle it effectively? What can you do to help a sick person? Take time to consider your assistance. This should be the first thing you do. Ask yourself the following. How would I have liked to be assisted if I was that sick person? Answering this question should already result in some practical self-guidance regarding your handling of an attitude towards the sick person and his illness. You will thus be able to consider your aid in terms of the internal consumables, outer materials, assistive devices, healthy routines, healthcare methods, physical assistance, financial aid, emotional support and spiritual encouragement required to assist the sick. Many people are familiar with this teaching of Jesus. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. Luke chapter 6 verse 31. Visit the sick person. This shows your interest in him and care for him. Visiting the sick is indeed what Jesus spoke about. Matthew chapter 25 verse 36. You should also visit him with some help. Extending your help to his family in the form of financial, emotional, physical, and spiritual support and assistance will enable and motivate them to continue and even improve their overall care of the sick person. Your presence alongside the sick really means a lot, especially since the sick person is able to see your face and feel the touch of your hand. A simple kiss or hug can also do wonders for the spirit of a sick person. Since these are closer forms of personal contact, it communicates your concern for him to a greater degree. The mere sight of, hearing the voice of, or the simple touch of a significant person with whom the sick person has not had any recent personal contact could actually result in greater or more rapid recovery than medical treatment. A good example would be that of a college youth who had been in the hospital for two weeks without any significant improvement in his condition. Once his mother, who lives in a different state or province visited him, he made a speedy recovery from his illness. Do not wait for the sick to lie on a deathbed before wanting to come closer. Share a word of spiritual encouragement with him. Read him relevant passages of scripture relating to his health and healing. Hearing the name of Jesus brings comfort and may also bring healing. If he is not fully conscious or his mental function is not of such a nature that he will be able to receive what you are saying, sharing this message might still benefit his family who may be present in his hospital ward or room during your visit. Even while being in this semi-conscious or comatose state, or when he is alone, merely reading the scriptures aloud to him at his bedside, may also promote recovery. It is said that many people, even after a long time since they recovered from major illness, cannot really answer the question, why do you think God has healed you? They cannot, furthermore, adequately answer other questions relating to their recovery, such as, why has God given you, specifically, another chance at life? Why did you survive the car crash, but your sister did not? When visiting the sick, you should not only share a message from the Bible with him, but also leave a Bible or relevant Christian booklets for him if there is none. He can then read it during the many hours at his disposal.
Pray for the person. If you pray for the sick person while being present with him, it actually helps him experience God's presence in his condition of illness to a much stronger degree. Even though the man with the withered hand first had to stretch forth his hand in faith before it was restored to good health. Mark 3 verse 5. Many people were healed without having exercised faith themselves. If you pray in faith for a sick person, he can be healed as a result of that. James chapter 5 verse 15. If a person is not fully conscious or unaware of his surroundings, he will be unable to exercise faith. He can, nevertheless, still be healed through the faith of someone else, such as that of the person praying for him. God honors the faith of those who pray to him. James chapter 5 verse 16 gives this encouragement. Pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Furthermore, pray for his family, that they will not become emotionally and physically drained, or spiritually discouraged due to his sickness, but that they will be able to assist and support him effectively on all levels. Pray that just as God is able to restore good spiritual health, he will also restore good physical and psychological health to the sick person. Jeremiah 30 verse 17. As a result, he may no longer require certain or any medical or surgical procedures to treat his illness. The man with the withered hand indeed experienced this. Luke chapter 6 verse 10. If Bartimaeus lived in the present day and his blindness was caused by cataracts, he would no longer need cataract surgery to help him see again, since Jesus completely healed him. Communicate with the sick on a regular basis. The sending of a letter, a get well card, a cell phone message, an email, and especially a telephone or video call where the person hears your voice or sees you speaking over a distance, also serves as an indication that you care for him. This, especially the communication in which you share the pleasant things that are happening outside, helps to uplift the person's spirit and may lead to a more speedy recovery of the body and mind. This may include news about a destitute relative finally getting his own house, or an indigent friend finally getting a decent job. Good news aids the healing of the body. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 30. Furthermore, speak a brief Bible message or verse of spiritual and temporal hope. In the case of severe or terminal illness, these messages can also bring about feelings of peace and contentment. This was the case with Jacob when seeing his son Joseph again after approximately 22 years. And Israel said unto Joseph, Now let me die, since I have seen your face, because thou art yet alive. Genesis chapter 46 verse 30. Give him money and other items. If he has a shortage of funds, your financial and practical assistance will enable him to concentrate maximally on his recovery. This provision applies to various aspects relating to his health care, including medication, doctor's fees, regular healthy foodstuffs, hospital bills, home nursing care, and transport costs. Helping the sick does not, however, have to start only once a person has been hospitalized. Many people interpret hospitalization as an indication that a person's disease has become worse, and unfortunately they reason that it is only then that he really needs their assistance.
It is sad to think that the stroke which a certain person suffered could have been prevented if his own siblings simply assisted him with the two hundred dollars that he asked them for to feed his family household for a few days. Unfortunately, that insignificant amount now has to be weighed up against the high cost of thousands of dollars in hospitalization and outpatient care and rehabilitation. The refusal to assist with this money was not the main problem, but rather the fact that the refusal by those close to him signified a loss of all hope. It caused severe emotional upset, resulting in a stroke. Brighten his recovery environment, a clean, neat, well-lit, peaceful, and fresh-smelling environment assists in improving a sick person's mood. Simple things you could do include, brightening up his room with fresh flowers and placing pictures of loved ones on the table or trolley next to his bed. These pictures will also serve as encouragement for him to want to get better for the sake of his family and other loved ones. Do shopping or run errands for the sick. This is especially beneficial for aged people, people who stay alone, or those with no transport of their own. Food delivery services might not be available in the sick person's neighborhood, or they might not be affordable. Given his poor health and movement ability, this may cause him to worry about how he will obtain these items. This additional stress could hinder his recovery or full restoration to good health. Buying foodstuffs and fetching other health necessities for the sick will therefore minimize their emotional strain.